happening now and for the second day in a row, thousands of Colorado teachers protesting at the state capitol in Denver, calling for better classroom resources and pay increases. Lawmakers have agreed to give schools their largest budget increase since the Great Recession, but teachers say it's still not enough. News 5's education reporter Lena Howland in Denver on this historic day. She's live at the Capitol. Lena. Well, police tell us they counted at least 10,000 teachers here at the Capitol today flooding this area, making sure their voices were being heard. Now, I talked to some of the teachers who traveled up here from southern Colorado today about some of the concerns that brought them up to the Capitol today. Education is our right. That is why we have to fight. Education is our right. Thousands upon thousands of teachers from across Colorado forming a sea of red on the steps of the Capitol. Teachers asking for more school funding, raises, and para reform. Here from Colorado Springs in District 20. We need to treat our students like they're the number one part of our economy because they're the future workers in the state of Colorado. And Pueblo's District 60. Well, we're here to fight for money for our, our teachers and our paras and everybody else that works in the school system. We need more money from the legislature. Word traveled quickly that District 60 teachers are preparing to strike after their cost of living raises were denied earlier this month. Hey, just want to shout out years of pay freezes, crumbling schools, disrespect and bad faith bargaining has driven them to strike. So we stand with you, Pueblo. We stand in solidarity with Pueblo. Legislators say their budget is closed for this session, but teachers want to see more of an immediate change. It's not too late to find a solution. I know that the mathematics that they're going to be talking about are just simple addition and subtraction problems, and I have confidence in our legislators that they have time yet to figure this out so our students can come to next school year funded like the state that Colorado is. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, Colorado is ranked number one in economy, yet 47th in per pupil spending. Colorado, we have such a great economy. Why is it that we can't fund our, edu our education system? And we did go inside of the Capitol earlier today to speak with lawmakers on both sides. They all agreed to work on our education funding, but it's still unclear on when these teachers can expect to see a change. Always, watch, always watching out for you, Colorado, Lena Howland, News 5.